So here we are at Princess Yachts in Plymouth. We are here to see this amazing facility that they have been building yachts in since 1965 in Plymouth in the UK. There is an incredible range in the Princess range. They have some amazing technologies we're going to explore and we're going to show you just what they do here. They literally build everything at this facility, right from fuel tanks to the furniture that goes into your beautiful yacht when you order a princess. The only thing they don't build is the engines. Everything else is done right here with their 3,300 employees. I look forward to showing you around. So there's something they do that's really special at Princess Yachts. They mock up every single model they're going to build in timber. And they do it in an incredible historic building here at Plymouth, which used to be the Ropery. So have a pan round. You can see that they've mocked up this boat. And that gives them a feel for what it looks like, what it feels like, what the spaces feels like feel like when they're sitting on the sofa can they see out of the windows all those are really important design elements that you can't necessarily totally get a feel for in a CAD um, drawing so it's a fantastic thing and something that only princess do they mock up the whole thing in timber So where we are now, uh, we are patting, pressing all the different shapes in marine grade alloy um, and then these components will go to the welding shop uh, to be welded up, have all the fittings go in, the senders go in, to be pressure tested before they go line side down to the boat. Um, above 80 feet we're into GRP tanks, so we're into GRP belly tanks in the bottom of the boat. Um, but again, aluminium tread plates for big boats and engine rooms, anything that's made of aluminium, sheet aluminium will come through this particular factory. So this green is the mould The green the is the mould, that you can see here on the outside. That'll have been painted with gel coat, so gel coat resin all the way through. And they'll then put onto the back of the gel coat the initial layers of reinforcement. Then they'll put the main reinforcement. Then they'll put the foam core. There's a foam core that goes onto that. Then they'll put the inner layer of reinforcement before they put the bag over the top for the vacuum infusion to take place. Amazing. So incredibly strong, incredibly but strong, not too heavy. But very light. Yeah. And one of the key things that you will find in any princess is the keel line to about 12 inches either side and the chine lines are not core, they're solid GRP. Uh, and the reason for that is that the keel line obviously is absolutely crucial for the longevity of this line. In the case of grounding, in the case of picking it up, picking it up, putting it down on chops in the boat yard, the keel line of this boat will be around about two inches thick and solid GRP. Wow. The rest of the boat is foam core to keep her light, and obviously being light, she'll go to her and take out the next one, so it's a bit more efficient. So that's an X80 in progress there, the very starting of the building of the hull. 
is it is really, really light in its format and the structure is perfect because you have so much compression from the vacuum down onto the reinforcement. You get virtually no air in it. So in terms of a composite, which it really is, it's a fantastic way to build a molding. And that is a flybridge infusion happening. different types of doors they make here at Princess but this is where the laminates are put next to the timbers they're put into this press and pressed down and then you get this result of an absolute solid timber door so these are the water battles in a water tank and we do that so that um, the water doesn't move around in one big slosh across from one side of the tank to the other, causing um, the boat to change its stabilisation. So that's why they do the water tanks and the holding tanks like that. So this is Hull 21 in the X95 series. They only started them in 2019, so the fact that they have they're already on to Hull 21 is quite amazing here at Princess Yachts. And this is the top that will be craned on to top, the top of that one. Cool, huh? Amazing here, quite amazing. So they'll have eight or nine of these in build at any one time. And they are a six month build now. When they first started, they were a year. So that's boat building at Princess Yachts.